tuning always drives me insane because sometimes you know, you're playing, depends how the guitar is intonated. If you had your guitar intonated or if you know how to intonate it yourself is one thing, but sometimes you could be looking at the tuner and go, okay, well, I got green lights here. How does it still sound a little out of tune to me? Or maybe you don't have that situation. I don't know, but I do and it drives me freaking insane. So what I'll do a lot of the times is I'll play like a chord. An A chord and I'll use my pinky on top to get the uh, B string and E string at the fifth fret. It sounds pretty good, but sometimes it won't to me, so then I'll start doing octaves, okay? So I'll go E string, D string at the second fret, A string, G string at the second fret, Octaves like that. It's one of those things where a lot of times, even the guitar is in tune, it'll still sound a little out of tune to me. But that's just the nature of these instruments, unfortunately. So there's a lot of times when, as I'm playing, I'm bending strings or doing little things. Like if I'm playing a chord and I sense the guitar is a little out, I'll add a little bit of vibrato with my left hand and just kind of. Things like that, just to make up for the fact that the guitar is a little bit out of tune. Uh, because the way I'm bending strings all the time, if you do something like there you go, right? So a lot of times I'll check it with an octave. And you also have to be careful with your fingering on the neck because sometimes you inadvertently, especially when we're playing guitars with lighter strings on it, you're by nature just bending the string just a hair to make it go out of tune. If your tuning looks like it's spot on with the tuner, your foot tuner, or with the headstock tuner. Sometimes check the fact that you might be bending the string just a little bit. And if that's not the case, check the octaves and just make sure the octaves are dialed in from one string to the next. And then you can get through the tune and make sure things are copacetic. Tuning's a rough one. It just is, especially in the nature of when we're playing a kind of music where you're bending strings, you're using whammy bars, the whole nine yards, tuning goes far afield and you're bashing on the guitar and strumming really hard sometimes, not so hard on others, the strings wander. So little things like doing the octaves, playing chords that you know are specifically, that have a lot of octaves in them so you can hear when a string is, is standing out. And sometimes it's a quick fix. Sometimes you're fixing one octave but not addressing one other one, but just to get through the song, that's sometimes what you do. In a perfect world, guitars would stay in tune and we'd all be mini guitar techs that our guitars were perfectly dialed in at all times. But the, usually that's not the reality. The reality is, is that you need sometimes to do some quick fixes, even in the middle of a song, to make sure that you're in tune. Or you can be like a lot of people and not care and play in some kind of uh, polytonal hellscape. But that's totally up to you. So there you have it, folks. Greg Koch here for some tips on staying in tune in the heat of battle.